Hello everyone, and it is your friend Ninjago Necromancer here with a model of a three-person minifigure stand. And here we got Digi Harumi, we got Season 11 Zane, which is the only Season 11 minifigure I've got. And uh, this little thing you can rotate, and we got Digi J here, so just rotate this notice that i'm actually holding up the camera instead of me having a tripod uh, all right i'll just do this you, you can't see the top of the dj's face though okay so you rotate it like this this is my first version of a minifigure stand which i think it's gonna be pretty sucky but i'll be showing you how to build it so this is built on a four by six plate and here we've got the classical minifigure stand. Oop, that was out of focus. Just snap it on here. Then I've got these like 2x5 or 2x6. I don't know. Just two of these things and you snap them on here. Now we'll take a 1x4 and two oh, and two 2x4s. Two Snap it on here, so it's kind of like a small sunroof, I guess. And Zane and Harumi over here. So I just yeet that away for a second, and uh, as you can probably already see, the only problem with this minifigure stand is the minifigure stand really isn't on top of it. This is my first model, so I, uh, as, as I said, it's going to be pretty bad. All right. So anyway, let's start building. Alright, to start off, we're gonna. Stupid thingy. I'm gonna have this on my floor over here. And we're gonna have. Oh, one by two and one by one. This, this is just like this. You don't actually have to do this, but yeah, I just did this for fun. Now we're. Oh, stupid idiots. We're gonna take a one by two. Don't actually have the whole one in. This is just what I'm doing. I'm making it blue because it's for Jay. It's supposed to be a Prime Empire thing. But Zane isn't in there, so I got Zane, Prime Empire Zane. That's what I'm gonna call it. And Digi Harumi. And we'll just repeat that. On the other side. So we got another one. And now we're gonna make a very crucial part. So first take a one by two. Now, this thing, snap it on, just set that aside, we're going to make this, we're going to take this tan gear, we're going to be using two tan gear, so if you don't think you have this, then I'm sorry. <laughs> so, we'll make that, oops, put that here, put the tan gear over here now the only, only problem I'll, I'll just show you in a minute okay so now i didn't i ran out of one by two so i just decided to use the one with the handles put it here now one by two brick over here see over here now i don't don't actually do this okay guys I ran out of one by two bricks, so I just had to use this, and I added a little extra detail here. And I just think it looks really smooth here, but turn it around, and yeah, well, at least just half of it's covered by Zane. Alright, now time to build the tall part. We're going to take uh, one by four, I th uh, two by four, I think, and then uh, two by three or two by two i don't know i suck at this um oh one by four and a one by two smooth plate in the center snap it on there now we're gonna take the exact same thing so now we have two right two i actually tried to make this checker design -ish thing but since it got these holes that wouldn't really work now take these two. I want my two. I had the handles on this again in a one by four. Now we're 
repeat that and you get two. And we're just gonna snap it on all together. So you see, I know the camera's a bit too zoomed in, but I don't care, I'm recording with an iPad. <laughs> so the reason I didn't want to do the tracker pattern because, yeah, it's going to expose another part. You could just mess around with this. You know, this doesn't have to be all blue. It can be red if you want to do Kai. Or it can be like one side for each ninja, maybe. So I'll just put this right on top. Now we're gonna use the main, no, we're gonna build the main stand. So, oops, oh, dang it. That was embarrassing. We take this and obtain gear. Now just set them aside and we're gonna build this. It's, uh, I'll show you it. So it's a thick one by eight rod, I don't know. And we're gonna put our thing here. Yeah. Now we're gonna just take these like one by two thingies and just put them on. Just put on six of them, and you're gonna have something like this left. Now put on this, and then your tan gear. Yeah, you might have to push it down a little to make it fit. Oh, where'd that go? Okay, maybe I'm gonna have to loosen this a little bit. See, it's all about the trial and error. I'm just gonna push it down on my computer. There we go. So, yeah, got it there. Good. Now, push it in. Now, we're gonna take two by four. I just used two two by twos because, yeah, like I said, I ran out of pieces. It's just got it from a lego bin i, I combine three or th four sets to just make this small thing actually if you want to use the exact bricks i use pieces from the lego ninjago movie lightning jet i don't have the original i do have the legacy one and i'm going to be reviewing that today actually anyway so uh two, four by four i use this two two by twos I have these like transparent bricks. First, I thought that'd be really sucky, but now I look back on it and I think it's pretty cool. Now, put over here, just border it with plates. Now, we're gonna use these jumper plates, put them in here, and just place on the minifigure stand so it's in the middle. This is a classical minifigure stand. I don't have any black, by the way. So, what the stupid message is. Yeah, right. And we got this. Now we just gotta take our stand. Fit it in there. Big problem is, it makes a huge noise when you spin it. Now, um, I actually have a way of doing it, it, which is getting, if you have like a Lego motor, put it here and maybe spin it. And then you'll have Jay rotating here really fast. Keep in mind that do not let his weapon, like, hit Harumi, or else he'll just stop there. And, yeah, uh, this is not the most convenient minifigure stand, but um, it's okay, and I might be making a second variation. But nothing beats the good old classic one, so, uh, but still subscribe to me. Turn on the notifications, because we're about daily or weekly videos, so, so yeah, bye, see you guys later. And, yeah, and uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below, and I will answer them all.